Good morning! So today is a very chill day. I'm doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So costing, menu, um, I officially have to create a venue for my business lately because I feel like it's all over the place. We are doing too much. It's a catering company officially, but like I am we cater for events from 10 to 200 people. So I need to actually um, finalize on the menu, things that we're going to have every day. It's going to be different platters, like a breakfast, like a snacker platter, um, one that is going to be more pastry focused, and then one that is going to be like all this club sandwiches, sliders, um, what else, bows, like bow buns and stuff like that. So <sighs> my target is essentially if you have any party, house party coming up and you want to cater for the house party and you want all these party bites like mini pizzas, mini burgers, mini sandwiches that people can just pick up and eat, I'm definitely your plug. So I need to finalize that menu so that I can um, kind of spend the next week just photographing just photographing each one but anyway right now see what i'm doing you guys are literally behind the stove i am cooking rice hopefully it's not too hot for a jelly i'm cooking rice for a jelly now um rice is usually the base for his meals and then we mix in those canned chicken peas carrots those kind of things with the rice um so that's what they are eating for the most part so i'm just cooking the rice so that my husband he just left for a work meeting on his way head back he's gonna buy the canned food so to be ready for him to mix up and feed his dogs i can't believe i'm the one cooking for these dogs isn't that crazy anyway that's what i'm up to today i don't even know i just said let me start this vlog because everything is gonna happen quick 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 so actually i'm eating while i'm cooking for a jelly my jelly and his new friends okay yeah, this is what breakfast is looking like some cartridge pepper soup i have from ages ago i put it in the freezer so i just can't be asked like for what to eat so this is gonna be my healthy breakfast ish it's even good self i'll save my carbohydrates loaded meal for later in the day oh look at that sweat i don't know anytime i pass sunscreen it gets so sweaty for me um anyway i had my bath quickly and now i'm off to the supermarket because i got an order for my snacker platter which is just the platter that is just 40,000 naira, but it has like chicken fajita wrap which is huge to all of it it has burger it has perfect meat of your choice it also has chicken wings it has donuts it's just like see let me tell you the truth in my glory days as a foodie i could have finished one up by myself but someone ordered the platter just to support my business and yeah i'm off to go and buy things i need and i also need a few things for the house as well and i need to buy gas so that's what we're off to do now so let's go together just got to the first supermarket and i'm not excited because this supermarket is expensive but um, they have what i need which is just like the fall tree i ordered packaging a few of them to try them out but it's not coming until i think thursday so i just have to make do with this foil one for tomorrow makes me sad because like i was really really particular about my branding but i have to do what i have to do okay i'm not gonna turn down order because my packaging is not here yet my god every time i turn on this camera i feel like i'm just sweating but the country is hot um, i just finished unpacking everything i got from the store did the prep for the goat's meat uh, made some buns for the burgers for tomorrow and yeah pretty excited so i'll finish everything tomorrow i just really wanted to kind of get my prep going internet is on because i'm doing some work let's check on our bright bones yay looking beautiful they look so beautiful so so i soaked some tiger nuts apparently i've had them for ages at least months and months on end but it was dry it was smelling a little still. It wasn't in the freezer. I thought it was in the freezer. And I was even looking for it in the freezer for hours, but it wasn't there. And yeah, I finally found it, but it smells a little still. Very, I don't know how to describe the smell. Not bad, but still like something that has been sitting in the store for a while. And so I've washed it several times and now I'm soaking it. And I have the itch to just wash it right now. So maybe we should do that actually. She's a sieve, oh god. I just feel like I'm so smart. I can figure it out. I don't need a sieve. Yep, another knot is gone. I'm still gonna pick them up because they're right in my sink, but still. 
Should I add vinegar? But then I don't want the vinegar to affect the taste of it. Just maybe I should try baking soda. I'm gonna put a little bit of baking soda. It doesn't even have the label anymore, and there's no smell to it. But I'm gonna try. Yeah, it's definitely baking soda because it's like bubbling. It's really fizzling. Just gonna leave it there for a while. Let it just marinate with itself and then I'll come and wash it out later. Just go in, I'm gonna enjoy one Odala. Actually, that's the name my husband gave our other dog, like he named him Odala. He said because his color is just like Odala. Naya named him Orange. So right now we are trying to debate. <laughs> we are having a debate if the dog name will be Odala or Orange. Yeah, I hope. Oh my god. Ooh, that looks good. I like it when it's like deep orange, almost red. Because that is usually the sweetest. Usually at the ripest, sweetest, but not spoiled. You know, because there's a fine line between ripe, tasty, sweet udara and fermenting already has a sour, tangy, going bad, stale taste. And this one is just perfect. Good morning. This is my gym face, by the way. Do you think I could stretch these braids out like just a few more days? Because it's really giving old at this point. It's even tried. It's like a month plus, and yeah, it's still in. But I'm not even going to like the convenience of this hair. I just wake up, go to the gym. That's this look, and I don't think it looks so bad. If I was even living abroad, I might have carried it another one month, but. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it out. I'm at the gym this morning. You know what my husband said to me this morning? He's like, ah, babe, like, I think you're much stronger. But I don't know if I'm seeing a lot of changes. I say, you know what? I registered in this gym because I want to better my life. Leave me alone, okay? Because he said when you go to gym and then you come back and eat what you like, you say you're working out. It's fine. And to be honest, I can't even blame him. That's so me. And I'm just shouting out to him because... Um, honestly, that man has supported me through it though. Like since I met him, I've finally been on a weight loss journey at least five times. So now he doesn't even listen to me anymore. Just like my sister too. My sister pays me no attention. Like my sister would be like, okay, you know. Um. Anyway, so I'm here today. I want to do my workout, and then I've done a lot of mise en place for my work today, for the work that I have today. So I just have to go back, finish it off, and yeah, I just wanted to do a little. Good morning. I think I vlogged last yesterday when it's, I just broke my nail. I vlogged last yesterday when I was looking at Dara or something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to say quickly if you've not yet bought in bulk, go and buy in bulk with my sister because hmm, the economy is just moving mad. See, Scumbia. I bought Scumbia 2 5, was it like three weeks ago? And then I bought it 3,000 when my mom was here. And then I bought it. Uh, was it three five yesterday three five that's like 500 naira increase every week and then let's not even talk about mackerel titus fish ice fish whatever you want to call it that one i heard that a, a cat or now is like almost 100k it's something thousand or so i'm not sure how true that is but one kilo hmm, is now four five last week it was four thousand like it's just crazy how everything is just this hyper inflation at this point because it's not even a gradual increase anymore it's like a massive increase and it's mind-blowing to me i can't even handle it like it's too much at this point i don't even know how people are surviving i will just advise and that's what i'm doing and i advise you to do the same anything you can buy in book buy you see once all those such milk and things i bought last finish i'm going back to market to buy a carton everything i just told my husband i don't care just bring all the money let's just buy everything i'll stock our freezer stock our pantry stock our house hire us to put everything into cooler inside cooler because of cockroaches and pests and whatnot and obviously check the expiry date before you buy because let me tell you something the way things are increasing you could just say next week next week next week if you even you even reach to take money out from savings to buy things in bulk if you can't afford it like 
just because it's going to save you so much money the way prices are increasing on a weekly basis i don't know how 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 we are going to do it though anyway what little hacks or what substitutions have you been making to kind of make this change a little more bearable because let me tell you every time i go grocery shopping i want to cry like why is everything so expensive and now now makes me wonder how like people myself i'm even privileged imagine how people that have no privilege are coping try i know cost of living has been going up in every country like home and abroad but nigeria zone is too much see if you can afford it's just give somebody grocery shopping money give them groceries if you can if you can afford it like we just bought a new bag of rice the last one finished i think this one we bought it for 70k i don't know i should ask my husband but ah, i forgot my lip balm so i'm giving crusty but anyway guys let me know this rant is too long now let me go and work out yes see you later If I'm being honest, today's workout was not that hard. It was 40 minutes long. Like we would do one exercise with gist. And so anyway, one guy was telling me how he had to do egg diets because he was like 110 kg and now he's 75 and he used egg diets and keto essentially has come down. And I was so tempted to be like, hmm, maybe I should do keto, but like nah, I've tried it before, it's not sustainable for me. Frankly, I love carbs too much to do keto anyway let's go home so that i can finish um everything i have to do for my order get it delivered and then i can chillax and know that you know what the hardest part of the day is done so yeah let's go home Yay. so this is the burgers cheeseburgers i made the buns super soft and fluffy um peppered goat meat asian style sweet and spicy wings mainly spicy but a little bit of sweetness um chicken fighter wrap which has chicken, cheese, um, grilled peppers and onions, a little bit of cabbage for the crunch and then donuts for dessert. I have to bring it outside so you guys can see it really well. Let's introduce our dog, Odara! Odara, this one is Huncho. Where's the come? Let's introduce our dog. Huncho. Huncho. Odara, come out for my chair. This this is uh this is dog because it's actually not ours to keep. Now nah, please let me hear now. Yeah. It's not your own, but they got it first. Uh uh. But they got it first. So which one is <laughs> you ask Brother, please can I share with you? Oh, Dada, I had no come. Naya, come. Are you sad? She's sad. <laughs> now, first they got toothbrush and Bruce has played with it before. Those, those people that saw their daddy now. Oh, Dada, come. Oh, Dada, come. Do you want to play with robots? It's only don't, food don't they, they know. Back in. Look back at it. They've grown so much, you guys. When they came here just nine days ago, you see how hungry they were. But look at them now. If you see the guy, especially. Oh, they're basically rescue them. Yeah, they're rescue dogs. Dada, come. If you enter that room, eh? Dada, come. Come, come. The guy is so muscular. Where is the jelly? The jelly! See, jelly, this is his favorite hiding spot under the chair. And he's probably sleeping there. This is special to so just go around and be sleeping. Go and call it jelly. Where is it? Call it jelly. I'm just saying okay. Now, what's the name of your dogs? Come and tell us the name of your dogs. Which, this one is who? This one's what's, his, what's her name? Adada. Good job! What's his name? Dog. <laughs> yes, dog does not have name, yes. Dog. Where is the jelly? Jelly is hiding. The jelly, where are you? But since it's you that your papa gave better name, Odala. Mm. They gave your brother Huncho. They now gave you Odala. See, Pasha. Eh? Even though we are not going to keep Huncho, now that he's going to give him away. Odala, come. Odala, come. Hey, Odala, don't suffer for this boy hand. Where is the why? Huncho. No, it's not Huncho. It's Huncho. I can't believe they've gotten so big. Oh my god. Nine days. In nine days. Huncho, Huncho. This one. 
Don't you, you're so big now, but how come his jaw is like bigger, his muscles? Like, we're holding well now. Let's see his muscles now. Hold him well. We're having romance in this dog now. Wow. I'm tempted. <laughs> see joy, yo. See joy because of dog. <laughs> Which house you want to keep three dogs? Before, before I was yeah. in my mind. Yeah. Hey, see, see up, Obi, see up, Obi. It's a boy, Bell, now that's the yeah. yes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, Beba. Beba. Oh, yeah. They can. <laughs> show me your, show me your pose, well. Hey, show me your muzzle. No, I should leave him. He can't stand, though. Look at him. They are so fond of doing this all the time. So I was like, please stop that. No, I said stop that. So that uh, I can't believe you by eight minutes. How come your brother is so much bigger? Oh yeah, Kuncho, all together, come down. Kuncho. Come down. Stop Kuncho. it. Kuncho. 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 I guess eating our food. They want to go and snatch their food. They are still so used to being hungry all the Sit. time. They want to snatch Sit. our food. Kuncho, see now you're a good boy because of bone. So I can size your jaws. Take that thing from Brazil. Brazil, Brazil. Eat that meat fast, fast. It is fast. So that I will just snatch it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's warning you. Hey, come on, see if I you so you are sleeping, your mates are doing activity. I don't know which kind of lazy dog. And he's the finest of them all. Ije lawyer. Ije le, see my mask. Ije le. See you. Ije le. Ije lawyer, come out. Come out now. Ije le, not like stress. Lazy. Every time you're looking for where you sleep. Eh? Naya, have you seen this kind of thing before? <laughs> Have you seen this kind of thing before? Jelly wants to be sleeping every time. Yes. The daddy has finally pursued you out. Come yeah, here. You jelly. What are you looking for under there? Why do you want to go and hide there? What happened? Why are you running away? No dog to be hungry. It's not good for dog to be hungry. Look at your jelly now. Three months old. No, it's four now, Abby. Three months. Three months. Three weeks now. Three months. Three weeks. And look at how three healthy. Months, I'm big he is, eh? Because he has been with us over eating. Hey, let me end this vlog here because I want to lose my hair. I don't know if I will actually lose it, but I need to lose it ASAP. And somehow my edge is survived. I'm even shocked, Seth. I had like minimal hair loss. See, the edges are still there. But yeah, we're just spending some family time. I want to go and nap. So let me end this vlog here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Boys and Naya, Naya, say bye, guys. Ijele say bye bye. Odala say bye bye. Hunto say bye bye.